Well, you're not talking to me, that's why. I saw you watching this tape. Have you seen the show? Well, the fashions are fun, the drinks are free, and there's a mystery in the air. What more could you ask for? Do you like a mystery? Ah, oh, glad to hear it. Listen, I'll be taping some individual comments later. If you want me to get you in there, I can. Okay. All right, well, got to go now. Got work to do, but hope to see you later then. Oh. Oh, well, I guess you're not missing much. Hmm. Well, I'd just love to chat all night and all, but, uh, you know, got work to do. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's not really my show. I mean, I just do my little segments and all. Hmm. So you're not really getting off on the party tonight? Oh, well, I mean, I know it's just, a, it's just an entertainment slot on a local news magazine, but I do what I can, you know, try and give it some life. Oh, I just live for them, you know, Nancy Drew. Of course, I suppose the big mystery is what's an up-and-coming telejournalist like myself doing recording fluffy little fashion segments at a strange affair like this? Hmm, well, I suppose I'll leave you with that one. Anyway, see you later. Oh, yeah, me too. It all has to do with that Vito character. That's him over there in the booth. He won't talk to me. He won't let me interview him before the final performance. You could talk to him. Sure, he could talk to you. Why wouldn't he? Listen, please, could you do that? You could find some information out for me. Oh, please do it. I would be so grateful. I really would. Listen, you go find out. Come and see me later. I'll be at the main bar. Cheers. Oh, such a shame, all dressed up and nowhere. <laughs> well, I wish I could help you, but I'm working tonight, so perhaps see you later. Well, excuse me. I don't know where you get off laying something like that on me when I haven't even clapped eyes on you in my life. Oh, hmm, well, I'm sorry you're not enjoying yourself. Seems to me this party has a lot of potential as far as diversion goes. Oh, well, aren't you being sweet to me? We have to start meeting like this. <laughs> I am sorry you're not enjoying the party. Well, you never know, maybe I could cheer you up. I'd like to try. Well, why don't you come and see me a bit later on? I'll be hanging out at the main bar. Of all the nerve, evidently you take some kind of perverse pleasure in tormenting me with your clearly uninformed criticism. Is this all I can expect from you? Well, that's a relief. Shall we start again? Surely you have more going for you than what you've shown me so far. Please, tell me that it's so. Uh, I don't think so. No. Hello. Hi, I'm so glad you found me. Listen, I happen to have a few minutes before I have to get back to the grind so we can actually chat a bit. It's funny, you know, I sometimes complain about being stuck in this whole fashion ghetto thing as opposed to, you know, getting the hot and gritty stuff political pieces, the crime stuff, the stuff that makes a difference. But I have to say, it's not so bad at being surrounded by the models and the artists, and did I mention the models? I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. Tell me something, do you know anything about this cult of vetoes? Fine, fine. Good, great. Hello. The Eden, it's called. I mean, I don't really know anything about it, except it's supposed to be very sinister, old as hell, thick with power players on every continent. It sounds like a lot of fun, but I just can't get a break on the whole thing. From what I hear, Vito is the key to everything, some kind of local linchpin, but he won't talk to me. I mean, that's why I pulled every string I had to get a cameraman for this soiree tonight. Normally with something like this, it'd be fast streeter, quick walkthrough. But I went begging and promised them the scoop of the century. If I don't get a break, I'm gonna have to kill someone. Yes, and have you talked to him? Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? Never mind. I was just thinking that he won't talk to me, but... Oh, I can't ask you this. But I will. Do you think that you might sound him out for me? I mean... I know he would talk to you, I know he would, and you could just get the slightest little bit of information from me. I mean, it could just be the tiniest clue to get me on the right track, you know? I would be so grateful, you have no idea. Time is running out for me, and I have to come up with something. 
you might also want to try that Mia girl that hangs out with him. Do you know her? Pretty little Asian thing. I think she's in the back right now and she won't talk to me either. So, what do you say? Will you do it? It doesn't matter how you found out. i just desperate for any information at all. I really am. If I don't come up with some dynamite angle on this whole glam fest, I will be doing Boy and His Dog stories for the Weather Channel. Please, 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 tell me what you know. I think you'd know Vito, Vito the host, Vito Brevis, the artist, you know, this whole event. You're an amnesiac, a substance abuser, or you're just trying to be funny. Yes, and? Did he mention the cult? And so, what did he say? Mm, fair enough. It was foolish of me to impose on you like that. I'm sorry. I don't blame you for a second. For all I know, it could be dangerous or something. Don't even think about it for another moment. It was wrong of me to ask that. Very rude. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Excellent. I am born again with hope. You have no idea. Well, hurry off and see what you can discover. I'll be right here waiting for you. Good luck. What, are you serious? And with me being so damn charming and all. Unbelievable. Please, please reconsider. I'm sure I can find some way to make it worth your while. Really? Come on, don't make me beg. That's so tacky. Oh, goody, I am, I am tingling. I've got goosebumps. Well, I do run into all types in this line of work, and that is no lie. I tell you, it's a good job I am so self-involved, or else I'm sure it would affect me much more. All I really care about right now is this job. I'm gonna ask you one more time, as I am the eternal optimist. Do you know anything about Vito's cult? I am very excited. This could be it for me. I've been waiting for something like this for so long. Okay, go. Go. Let's hear it. Are you sure? That doesn't really sound like him. What else did he say? So, tell me about yourself. I understand. Sure. Then will you reconsider? Please? What? Hmm? What's the problem? I know what you need. You need a change of scene. Come on, let's take a break. Station keeps a suite on the second floor. We can go relax, bit of peace and quiet. What do you say? Hmm. Wow, it's on the mode machine thing, and that's how you find it? Think of it right there for everybody to see. That is... I mean, such gall. That is so typical. This is so great. I have to, you listen, I have to go and check this out right away. You understand. I mean, I really appreciate this, okay? We'll see you later then. Bye for now. That's it? That's it? That's what you've been holding out on me with? Ah, great. Great, thanks. I'm just wasting my time here, aren't I? This is so sad. Goodbye. You're breaking my heart. I am rarely as charming as this. You have no idea. Is there nothing I can do to change your mind? This is a limited time offer, you understand? I mean, what do you expect? I can really be very nice, you know. Great. Well, then let's not wait another moment. Let's go. Yep, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm.
<laughs> well, I've really enjoyed our little chat, but you know, I've got to get back work to do, so have yourself a fine party. Ta-ta. Say -ta. lovey, I can only try so hard. What can I do? Well, fine, I'd love to hear it. Do tell. You'll relax soon, worry not. You just sit back and I'll regale you with my captivating life story. Well, let's see. I, the youngest of five, born in Staffordshire, that's England to you, graduated with honours from Vassar, lost my virginity at 19, mm, once kissed Harrison Ford on the mouth, probably could have been an astronaut if sense weren't so damn dull, planned to have a network show in three years, my own production company in five. That about covers it. How about you? You are fascinating, aren't you? We must really get together when we have more time. Right now, I am so caught up in this veto thing. I've got this strange feeling about these cult rumors. Like, maybe this could be my big break. Finally get me out of this whole silly fashion gig. Oh, it's all so exciting. But then you probably know more about it than I do. Am I right? So, will you tell me what you know? Now, don't be a big tease. It just doesn't suit you. I was hoping we were getting close here. I can understand why you might be cautious. I mean, we just met and all. We definitely have some barriers to break. Well, I know one way we could do that. Oh, I'm all goosebumped and shivery. <laughs> Hurry, tell me everything. You're kidding. Unbelievable. You mean it was right there in the room the whole time? Right in front of everybody's nose? That is one of the wildest things I have ever heard. And that, what you just said, that will open up the file for me? Wow. We have to get back right away. I mean, you understand, we have to. I have to check this thing out right now. I mean, this could be the big one for me. His big performance is coming out fast. I, I've got to, I've got to read this file before the the party is over. So, I mean, we've got to leave like now. Come on! <laughs> what? I took on, I took this precious time out of my nightmarish schedule for that. I've got calls to make. You're gonna have to leave. I, I'm afraid. Could you please leave now? <laughs> oh boy. That's so sad, because I can tell you I'm extremely attracted to you. Would you mind if I got closer? I mean, very close. I'll answer for you then. Yes. Oh good, because I don't like to spend a lot of time dancing, if you know what I mean. Well, at least I know I tried. Oh, listen, I really need a break. I mean, if you know something, I can't pay you anything. You wouldn't believe the slave wages they got me on in this job. But I, I remember my friends, I do, and I can be really influential in certain areas. Please help me. If you know something, please tell me. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, my time has run out here. Um, I'm really sorry, you're gonna have to leave. That Casablanca thing ain't gonna happen with us. I'm really sorry. If you could leave now. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Bye. 
Oh, that is so good to hear. So tell me. Mm. Oh, you're getting me excited. Mm. Put your hands on me. So, oh, tell me what you know about the cult. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Ah, oh, mm. oh, don't do this to me. You're driving me mad. Tell me now. Yes. Yes. Tell me, tell me now. One more time for good luck. Mm. Would you please tell me what you know? Really? On the game, the Mo machine? Right there, and that's how you get into it. Ha! <laughs> that is so bizarre. Well, oh, you have been such a darling about this, but you understand. I have just minutes, minutes before his big final performance. And I have to do my hair. So, if we could just get going right now, it would be great. Come along. What? That's what you've got for me? What do you take me for? You? I get myself involved in a deep clutch for that? Could you asshole! Get out! Please, would you just get out now? Let, get out! Could you asshole! Get out! Please, would you just get out now? Let, get out! No? What are you trying to be funny? Just do the thing for me. Get me in. The secret file. You said it was in here. Just do the trick for me. Come on. Good. Okay. Well, here. Go to it. Oh, forget it. This is just this is just a joke, right? You just pull a fast one on the talking head lady. Is that your thing? Ah, okay, okay. I will do it myself. But go away, would you? You're making me nervous. You have turned out to be a genuine asshole. Do you know that? I cannot believe I wasted all my time on you and on this. God. I made it. Fantastic. Okay, get lost now. I have to concentrate. Okay. And the reality of the powerful, subversive, socio-political cult lurking in the shadows of this unusual cultural event can no longer be denied. Documents that have come into the possession of this reporter show not only the involvement of artist and anarchist Vito Brevis, but also a list of luminaries from the ranks of the social and political elite that will shock the world in an organization whose overt goal is nothing less than the total overthrow of this government and others. What this all means can at this point only be guessed at. Let's talk to that person I referred to earlier, the mysterious party crasher who discovered the key to this whole breathtaking mystery. Hello again. Tell me and my viewers, if you would, when you first happened upon this, this astonishing document, what I have been referring to as the Edom file, what did you think of the tale that it told? Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, 
God. Thank you very much. Now all that's left is to have this astonishing document checked by the proper authorities to determine its authenticity and its impact on the world and on Vito Brevis, who is now just moments away from what he has billed his last performance ever. This is Charity Flame reporting to you from Mode. Great, thank you. Yeah, I think we got it. Thanks, you were great, terrific. You totally made my night. In fact, I think you should stick around because actually Vito is finally coming on soon. And we're going to go set up our cameras by the stage in a few minutes, so hang tight and, uh, oh, this is so exciting. What a letdown. The anticipation for the grand finale has been electrifying. Vito's announcement of a change in plans, whether genuine or part of some larger scheme on his part, has had a dramatic effect on everyone here tonight. People are wasting no time heading to the elevators. It's coat check time. A strange turn of events to cap an evening most notable for its strangeness. This is Charity Flame on the scene at the Mode event. Oh. Did you get that? Rolling. 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 Awesome. Amazing. Astonishing. Words cannot possibly express the feelings at work in the room at this moment. What have we just experienced here? I think I can speak for everyone in the room that we have witnessed a transformation. And it's clearly no magic trick, it's no prop and lighting illusion. I think, I have no doubt in my mind that whatever Vito has done, whoever, whatever he is involved with, it is surely something momentous. Is he really gone? Can we really ever know? Will anything ever be the same again? <laughs> This is Charity Flame on the scene at the Mode event. Hmm. What a letdown. The anticipation for the grand finale has been electrifying. Vito's announcement of a change in plans, whether genuine or part of some larger scheme on his part, has had a dramatic effect on everyone here tonight. People are wasting no time heading to the elevators. It's coat check time. A strange turn of events to cap an evening most notable for its strangeness. This is Charity Flame on the scene at the Mode event. <laughs> As expected, Vito has not let us down. It's been a most extraordinary evening, and what can you say about that unusual, astonishing, brilliant technical finale? Vito has taken this opportunity to poke fun at fashion, at art, most obviously himself. Something seems to be happening over here. Can we get this? I don't know what to say. Is this part of the concept? Are we part of the show? <laughs> One can never, never know what to say I'm with Vito Bravis. You filth, you vacuous, slimy, oh, well, this is, pervert. This is Me outrageous. out. Yeah, no more. Go away. Go away from here. Out. 
and enjoying the age-old pastime of mingling with the young, the beautiful and the creatively endowed. And so far, Vito has not let us down. The scene here tonight has been what I'm going to call chic and freak. Local art fans will remember last year's apocalypsing karaoke catastrophe at the Hideyoshi Tower with its shocking animal acts and giant inflatable body parts. While this year Vito has toned down the shock, toned up the shtick, mixed in a black and neon cabaret decor and set the whole thing against the backdrop of high-tech haute couture. But the question on everyone's mind tonight, what will Vito do for an encore? For weeks now, he has been hinting in the press that this might be his last multimedia event. Indeed, perhaps his last public appearance. Oh, sorry. Start again. Okay. But the question on everyone's mind tonight, what will Vito do for an encore? For weeks now, he has been hinting in the press that this might be his last multimedia event. In fact, perhaps his last public appearance of any kind and that he plans to go out with a bang. Well, the rumors floating around the room tonight are as strange and fascinating as the fashions. Whatever happens, you can rely on me to be your eyes and ears on the scene. This is Charity Flame for Nightlight Magazine. Did we get it? Great. Thanks. Hi, enjoying the event? Brevis has steadfastly refused all requests for an interview, but has magnanimously allowed our camera to record his performance, which if previous years are any indication, could very well prove to be the biggest surprise in an evening full of surprises. Let's watch. Well, here we are. Welcome to our humble suite. Company money for now. Make yourself comfortable. Oh. Well, here we are. What do you say we get to know each other a little better? Shall I go first? Do you find me attractive? Okay, okay, here we go. Let's see if I understood you. Ah, uh, hmm. Oh, this is a little too crazy for me. Can you do it? This is wonderful. Perfect, good stuff. Okay, if you can get lost now, that would be great because I have to concentrate. Thanks for your help. Will you help me? Hmm? Will you tell me? You haven't spoken to him at all, have you? Unbelievable. Do you know anything I could use? Hello. 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 